what's up it's Julia and welcome back to my channel today is Tuesday February 1st happy February oh my gosh first of all where did January go second of all February is my birthday month so that's exciting but I feel like it's gonna be 2024 in two minutes because it yeah that's time what is time Today's video is going to be an afternoon of an actor because I have a lot on my to-do list today and it's Tuesday, which means I have to post this video tomorrow because my posting schedule is Wednesdays and Saturdays. So I'm also gonna be editing throughout the day. It's currently 12.30 and I have a Zoom audition at 1.30. This is for a commercial and I've never had a Zoom audition for a commercial before. I've only had Zoom auditions for acting roles. So there are a few things that I'm trying to figure out right now, including doing a full body shot because when I have my computer on my cat scratcher, which is what I use for a tripod, it only shows like up to here. They want me to step back for a full body and I have not figured out how I'm gonna do that yet. So that's literally what I've been doing for the past 20 minutes, just trying to figure that out. That's also why I'm wearing a dress right now because that's the wardrobe for this audition. They also want some props and I'm gonna be improv -ing. I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing I guess we'll find out. My mom was going to be helping me with the full body and just with the audition in general, but she's gonna be on a call. So we're gonna see how this goes. Again, this is my first commercial audition on Zoom and commercial auditions are obviously different than like acting auditions. So I'm gonna do the best that I can because that's all you can do. But I think right now I'm gonna try to bring in the cat scratcher and figure out how I'm gonna do this full body shot. My name is someone keeps blocking my way. I can't feel further away. Wait on the moment to say that I want you. You know that I want you. T minus 30 minutes. We're gonna figure this out. It's exactly one o'clock, and honestly, I have no idea when they'll take me in. My appointment's at 1:30, but you never know with Zoom auditions. But anyway, I have my little setup. I'm worried to put my yearbooks on the cat scratcher on top of this box because this cat scratcher, I've said it in every video, but it is about to collapse. So we're gonna wait till the very last second to finalize this setup. I have to include another dress and shoes. So I'm using a chair. We're just making it work. What else do I need? Yeah, I still need to figure out how I'm gonna do this full body. Guys, I'm very excited because I figured out a solution. I'm gonna move my stand all the way back when they ask for the, f I don't even know why I'm so excited about this. But if you're an actor out there and you're also doing these commercial self tapes, hopefully this can help you. So I'm gonna move my stand all the way back. I'm gonna put some tape on the floor where I need to move it to so it gets my full body. I also have to angle my computer a little bit, which isn't ideal, but we're all just trying to make it work. Okay, you guys, it is now 1.22. I'm gonna log on to the Zoom right now because I just wanna be in the waiting room early. I'm gonna eat this banana. I have my, I'll show you. I have my little prop chair and I'm ready to go. I also forgot to mention, they did give us a little rundown of the commercial. So I'm gonna reread that and I'll see you guys after the audition. All right, you guys, the audition is done. It went really well. It was super quick. I just had to do a slate with the hands, which sometimes feels a little weird to show your hands. I did a full body turn and then I did like the full body shot and it worked out with my little system, so that's good. And then I just did a very, very short scene twice and yeah, it was pretty much it. Now it is 1.40 and I'm gonna start editing this video and then I'll tell you guys what else we have going on today. It is time to journal. You could just tell how happy journaling makes me. Since I know a lot of you guys are also into journaling, I'm gonna show you the journals that I've been writing in lately. So this is my daily journal. It's as simple as that. I just write about my day. This journal is where I write all of my to-do lists and I also outline all of my YouTube videos. I was doing that in Notion, but I'm such like, I don't know what you would call it. And I love writing digitally, but I also love just handwriting and writing in journals. So now I outline all of my YouTube videos and take notes for calls that I have and just everything like that. 
in this journal. And then I have my five year question a day that I do every day. Actually, what's today? First, today's question is what did you have for breakfast this morning? And this morning I had an acai bowl for breakfast and last year, oh my gosh, last year on this day, I was in quarantine in Vancouver rehearsing for the J team because I had granola with almond milk and a banana. And then I wrote then after rehearsal, avocado toast and celery juice. <gasps> the memories, that's crazy. And then my last journal is this new edition. You guys have not seen her yet. If you want to read this, I think this is so beautiful, but this is the journal that I've been using for the Artist's Way program, which I talked about that in a recent video. I think in my weekend in my life. A part of the program is to do something called morning pages, which is basically three full pages of free writing every single morning. Ideally, it's the first thing you do when you get up in the morning. I have not been perfect, but I'm trying to get a lot more consistent. So I use this journal to do all of my morning pages and all of the tasks related to the artist's way. I just picked up some lunch. I got Chipotle. Today is a very hectic day, I realized. It's just go, go, go. I also have 15 minutes to eat, so I will tell you guys what I wanted to tell you later, but I do have a Zoom at 3.30. Also, on the way here, I was listening to the Man Enough podcast by Justin Baldoni. I admire him so much. I was listening to the episode with John M. Chu. I'm only like 10 minutes in and I highly recommend it. It's very, very inspiring. Anyway, I'm gonna eat my lunch and then I'll see you guys back at home. Wow. Oh my gosh, I have a lot to fill you guys in on. It is now 5.30. Oh, my, I, my head is buzzing right now. I don't even know where to start. So we last left off, I was eating Chipotle and then I said I had a Zoom. Okay, in my last YouTube video that I posted, I talked about being more authentic and figuring out how to more vulnerably and truthfully share my story. So I'm gonna tell you guys about something that I've been doing that has literally been changing my life. In 2021, I struggled with a lot of anxiety. I really, really wanted to find somebody who I could talk to who understood everything that I've gone through, has been through a lot of what I am working towards and I want to achieve. Obviously is like in the same industry and just understands all of that. Someone that I deeply respect and admire and someone that can really give me advice and help guide me and help just, I can like bounce ideas off of and that whole thing. I have found that person and it is a game changer. She is a mentor of mine and I've been working with her now for the past month. Finding somebody that you can talk to just like straight from the heart without having to try to explain anything, without having to try to like, I don't know, pretend to be something you're not. Oh my gosh, game changer. The, my mental health, like completely different. The revelations that I have literally on a daily basis, just about life. So I guess the point of me saying this is, wow, finding somebody who just gets you and can help guide you and be a mentor, I highly recommend. And so that's the Zoom that I had. I was just on a Zoom with her um, chatting about everything that came up for me this past week. She gave me amazing advice as always. And I feel very, very grateful for this relationship because it, it it is such a game changer. So yeah, I am just like still processing everything that we talked about. It always takes me a bit after our sessions because what we talk about is so, we're both just like very passionate people. So like so deep and so passionate and so connected because we are just the same person and it's it's just so beautiful so i'm like kind of floating right now after that but i do have acting class at seven and i need to find a script you might be thinking like shouldn't you have done that before because i need to find a script and memorize it but actually i wanted to update you guys on a memorization process that i've been using which is actually memorizing stone cold completely monotone with no emotion i was finding myself when I was memorizing the script, totally getting into a cadence of how I say the lines. And then when I went to do the self tape or whatever, it was really hard to be in the moment. So my acting coach suggested I just totally memorize monotone. In my class, we do this process called I am one who, which really helps us 
just get into the mindset of the character. Basically my point is that now when I memorize, I am just memorizing the words. And listen, I always try out new techniques. I'm always learning obviously. In my next video I might say that I have a whole new memorizing technique. But that's what I'm doing right now, which definitely makes it easier. I don't have to like put all the work in while I'm memorizing. So I'm gonna try to find a script right now and then just stone cold memorize. I've been rough cutting this video throughout the day, but I have to get it up tonight so it's ready to go up tomorrow. I'm gonna be posting it at 8.30. I don't know when I'm gonna edit it considering I have acting class until 11 p.m. But it'll get done, I just don't know when. Oh, I picked out my script, I'm gonna memorize it right now. It says confidential, so I can't show you guys because I don't wanna get in trouble. But there's three pages and yeah, my acting class literally starts in 45 minutes, so I better hurry. Hey guys, so it is now 8.26 and I'm in my acting class, we're on a little break. My mom made me some lo mein for dinner. All right, you guys, it is now 10.31 p.m. I am still in my acting class. I actually just did my scene and it went literally 10 times better. Let me make sure I'm on mute. Okay, it went 10 times better than I was even expecting, which is always such a nice surprise when that happens in class. Anyway, I'm gonna end today's video here because it is late and I have to get this uploaded and everything. And again, I'm still in class. Oh my God, I literally, okay. I, had, I didn't tell you guys about something really exciting that I'm doing tomorrow. I'm probably gonna be making a video about it and I'll post that on Saturday if I'm allowed to film. I'll see what I get. But basically tomorrow I'm working with a program called Lollipop Theater Network and basically I'm gonna be reading two storybooks and doing a Q&A with kids who are in the hospital. This is over Zoom. I'm so excited. This is what it's all about. Like this is why we do what we do as artists to get to make an impact like that and give back and touch others. I'm so honored to be doing this. I'm so excited. I've seen the other videos and the kids just look so sweet and they really seem to enjoy this program. So hopefully that will be this Saturday's video, but if not, stay tuned on my Instagram. I'll be sharing a little bit about that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.